Welcome to AETCM, the Emergency Medicine Channel. Uh, so, I start? Yes, sir. 40 year old female patient uh, present to our ER with history of fever since 5 days uh, associated with myalgia and multiple episodes of vomiting. On initial 10 second assessment, uh, patient was conscious and oriented. On uh, primary survey, airway was patent, no secretions, uh, and breathing part, air under bilateral equal, respiratory rate 16 breath per minute, saturation uh, 97% on room air, circulation part BP 130-90, heart rate is 72 uh, per minute, all peripheral pulse are felt equal, disability GCS is E4, V5, M6, pupils are 2 mm bilateral equal reacting. Exposure or temperature uh, 100 degree Celsius, GRBS uh, 120 million deciliter. Mm -hmm. This is the uh, primary survey. Uh, Adjuncts to primary survey, uh, we have done a uh, uh, VBG. Uh, VBG was there is no acid based disorder. Uh, uh, then we give for uh, uh, one, one dose of one, one, one gram of PCM because patient fever of 100 degree. Mm -hmm. Uh, then we take routinely uh, point of care CBCRP investigation on uh, and that showing platelet is uh, 44,000 with uh, total count is uh, 4,000. So already there is history of a with history of fever with uh, thrombocytopenia. Uh, we send the routine investigations like uh, CBCRP lab test with LFT and RFT and uh, to roll out uh, dengue uh, already patient had fever since 5 days okay. we sent uh, ns1 uh, combo containing ns1 antigen okay. igm okay. Uh, and igg then to roll out lepto and malaria we sent okay. lepto igm and malaria antigen test okay. after one or two hour uh, dengue uh, and uh, antigen was positive and igm was uh, positive what was the bp of the patient at the time of presentation bp at the time of presentation 130 90 sir okay. Suppose the same patient with dengue fever presents with uh, in hypotension. Uh, what are the mechanisms of development of hypotension in a patient with dengue? Uh, hypotension, uh, dehydration. Uh, yes, definitely. Patient had multiple episodes of vomiting. vomiting. Fever was there. Then dehydration. Then uh, in dengue, there is a capillary uh, leakage. Yes. And there is no, dysfunction. There is increased production of inflammatory mediators like mm -hmm. cytokine, mm -hmm. leading to increased capillary leakage, third space loss, leading to hypotension. Okay. And Any other? Myocarditis causing cardiogenic. Yes, myocarditis can also can lead to shock. Okay. How will you manage a patient, uh, a dengue patient, presenting to ER with uh, shock or hypotension? Hypotension, uh, dehydration, we uh, give uh, IV fluids. Mm -hmm. uh, IV fluids are the main uh, treatment mm -hmm. that we given uh, 30 uh, ml per kg body weight bolus will be given. Okay. Uh, then followed by uh, 10 ml per kg body weight per hour infusion start on. Suppose after even after fluid recitation, uh, patient's BP is not improving. What will you do? Uh, inotropic supports. Uh, we can start on noradrenaline. Or infusion. Okay. Um, even after starting norad, if the patient is still having low blood pressure then anything else we will do Stero oh. okay. if i know after i know no right, we can start on vasopressin mm. mm. and then then we can okay so uh, if uh, despite of starting iv fluids uh, noradrenaline if the patient's bp is not improving uh, actually there is no role of steroids in uh, for the treatment of dengue but if we are suspecting hyperdrenalism Definitely, we should give steroids. Uh, what steroids will you prefer? Uh, hydrocortisone, dexamethasone. Oh. With ha which one among these have more mineral corticoid activity? Hydrocortisone. So, how much is the dose? Uh, 15 mg. Every 6th hour. Every 6th hour. Okay. 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 Um, in this case, platelet transmission was done or? Oh, no, sir. 40,000 is the initial. Then, uh, in daily, we check the platelet. Mm. Uh, then it becomes uh, 30,000, mm. okay. uh, then 25,000, later it becomes improved. Okay. Uh, why we are uh, uh, not giving platelet transfusion if the platelet count is like 25,000, 30,000? Why we are waiting for the platelet to drop? Why it is not done prophylactically, platelet transfusion is not done? 
basically uh, the lifespan of platelet is for uh, 24 hours or one or two days yeah so transfused platelets uh, the lifespan will be around one day, one day. Uh, normal half life of platelets is around six se to seven, seven days. days yes so without uh, yes. preferably there is no mm. use in this there is no bleeding manifestation or platelet count less than 10000 mm. what are the uh, definite there is there are definitive guidelines for uh, transfusion of platelets what are they uh, if patient platelet count less than 20,000 is the bleeding manifestation, we can give platelet other than we can give platelet 10, less than 10,000. 10, uh, or if any uh, any minor surgeries is needed, uh, less than 50,000, we can give platelet. For minor procedures minor like procedures. center line insertion. Okay. Other than that, less than uh, 1 lakh for major surgeries, less than 1 lakh. We should go. Transfuse should platelet. Okay, okay. What are different types of platelets? Platelet uh, RDP and SDP. Single donor platelet. Single donor platelet and, 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 uh, random what donor. are the major differences between SDP and RDP? In SDP, there is uh, like SDP single donor, only one antigen sensitization is there. Yes, In yes. RDP, multiple antigen is there. Multiple persons oh. platelet is given for one patient. Yes. So multiple antigen sensitization. So so antibody production will be more. More. So in conditions like ITP, uh, there we you might have to transfuse uh, multiple times during lifespan. So it's ideally it's good to give SDP yes. so that uh, antibody production and uh, the uh, platelet destruction will be de reduced. Okay. What are the common clinical features you have mentioned? No, uh, fish in uh, Dengue, there is a prodromal phase like fever, uh, uh, body pain, uh, bone pain. It's called as pain. a break bone fever, break bone fever severe so. backache, yeah. arthralgia, retroorbital pain, everything will be a typical presentation like vomiting, loose tools, mm -hmm. everything can be there. Okay. So, what all will be your deficient diagnosis for a patient with fever with thrombocytopenia, similar presentation? Uh, Dengue, chikungunya, mm. uh, lepto, mm. malaria. malaria. How will you differentiate between um, dengue fever, leptospira, and malaria um, with the help of investigations? Investigation dengue we can rule out by dengue and antigen. Lepto mm. we can rule out by uh, dark field microscopy. Okay. Malaria we can thin smear and thick smear. Okay. 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 Uh, by, uh, regarding the investigations, okay, uh, like CRP and uh, that acute phase react reactant, um, how will you, how will they help in management? Uh, if ferritin is highly elevated, mm -hmm. uh, then it is a, a predictive for the patient going to go into a shock. Mm -hmm. So, so uh, if the ferritin is very high during early early stages of uh, uh, mm. dengue fever, there is high chance for patient going into uh, multi organ destruction syndrome. syndrome. That's the one point. Okay. Uh, other uh, by blood parameters, there can be leukopenia, thrombocytopenia. Mm. What will happen to hematocrit? Hematocrit will increase. Sir. So okay. Capillary leakage, okay. hematocrit will increase. Okay. It's an indication for mm. fluids also. Uh, in King features, what kind of rashes will be seen? In dengue fever, uh, maculo papular rashes, which is centrifugal distribution. Mm -hmm. Okay. Whether hands, uh, palms, and soles will be involved or normally the hands and palms no, yes. not involved. Can you give me an example of uh, another viral infection affecting palms and soles? Uh, Hand, foot, mouth disease. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. And. Uh, regarding uh, management, we have discussed about. Uh, uh, fluid management and uh, any is there any role of uh, uh, like antibiotics in the management of dengue fever? Uh, viral fever, so there is uh, no role for antibiotics. Okay. And uh, uh, what is uh, dengue shock syndrome? Uh, dengue uh, shock syndrome is uh, high grade uh, fever, can contain four criteria like high grade fever for five to seven days uh, with uh, thrombocytopenia, mm. uh, capillary leakage leading to hypertension, shock, and bleeding manifestation. Okay. And uh, so we have discussed about clinical features, investigations, and management aspects. Okay. So you know, it is um, you know the dengue is a zoonotic disease. The infection is spread by which ADC, mosquito? ADC, ADC. ADC. So regarding prevention, how will you prevent the f uh, spread of dengue fever? Basically, dengue fever mosquito uh, breeding is uh, uh, fresh water, uh, oh. so we can uh, prevent the fresh water breeding. Okay, okay. Uh, what happened to this patient further? Uh, 
this patient platelet is initially it is dropped for initially 40000 to become 30000 then to become 20000 mm. later on uh, patient uh, platelet becomes improved mm. and there is no otpt is elevated uh, creatinine is normal mm. so we give symptomatic management with iv fluids patient becomes uh, better mm. then to discharge the patient okay um have you heard about uh, ex- ex- extended uh, dengue syndrome it's a condition where uh, there is uh, a multiple organ involvement like um, uh, neurologic manifestations like patient can have a typical presentation with the neurological manifestation like seizures uh, encephalopathy and uh, um, patient can have altered sensorium there can be multiple organ involvement there can be ards uh, pancreatitis uh, pericarditis myocarditis uh, acalculus cholecystitis all this points towards this condition anything else you want to add mm-hmm. thank you